For the last couple months, we've seen times where there's been pushback against Wizards of the Coast for these new Magic the Gathering cards featuring race swap characters. Not like Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power, where it's like, oh yeah, we did change this one person's race, but we also then added all these new characters to diversify, blah, blah, blah. No, this is Aragorn we're talking about. We're talking about them race swapping Aragorn. And yesterday, they put out yet another tweet that uh, <laughs> has a lot of attention. And Aragorn gave it a new name and called it Anduril, Flame of the West. <laughs> this is fucking Aragorn. Tolkien uh, is rolling over in his grave as these people continue <sighs> to bastardize and destroy his legacy. There's a lot of hidden... <laughs> There's a lot of hidden replies here. I do like this one by That's Charles my, Kahn. That's my favorite one. It's not Lord that far of them, off. Lord of them reigns. Return of the Kang. Uh, the virtue signaling stops at the Chinese border. Uh, more like more like Eric Gohm pays some child support. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah it, it, there's a lot here right but just, that's just the fucking replies that are still there just think about all the hidden replies okay and who's the guy holding it the blacksmith um what, what madagascar meme why are you black um discount aragorn won't see a china release this is not aragorn gondor has no kang gondor needs no kang Eric Horn looks like he's about to destroy a McDonald's, right? They're getting fucking annihilated, and, and rightly so. Like, this, this, is, this is something that means something to people. When we see these franchises, these IPs, these stories, these characters that are bastardized all in the name of identity politics and to push a woke agenda, this has been around for decades and decades. People care about this shit, especially Tolkien and Lord of the Rings fans care about the lore. And when you do something this blatant and really it is disrespectful to the source material and everything that came before to blackwash things like this, it's laughable. You've even got people that are trying to get people fired. Uh, this guy, David Levitt, the same dude who was the one who tried to cancel that target Tory girl over a toothbrush. If you remember yep. that. Oh yeah. I remember the that. same racist Nazi fuckers who complained about a black elf in rings of power and a black mermaid, a new Lord of the rain or new little mermaid are now throwing a fit because there's a black Aragorn in the new Lord of the Rings Magic the Gathering set. I fucking hate how many racists are in the board game space. Jesus. It's not a black Aragorn. Aragorn is not black, <laughs> right? And he even goes so far to like this. Let's see if I can find it here. It would be a shame if Chris Anderson's employer and friends found out he's a racist. Good Lord, man. This is all this that's just, says. that's terrible. That, that's a badass sword, awesome artwork, but that's not Aragorn. You're just pandering and it's pretty pathetic. It's insulting too. Just make an original badass black character leave Aragorn the way Tolkien created him. All about ESG pathetic. He just How labeled this racist? person. He labeled this person a racist and is trying to get him fired for this. Holy shit. My goodness, man. These people are deranged beyond belief. Yeah, and he's obviously getting a lot of pushback too for his take, but you know. They we saw it when they previewed these cards. We've seen them promote it. We've seen them try to push all these stories of black people crying because they can see themselves in Aragorn now. This entire thing is pretty despicable. We we it's not just blackwashing fiction, they're trying to blackwash real history when it comes to Cleopatra. We just saw that on Netflix. Mm -hmm. So this is like a targeted attempt, and people are standing up and they've had enough. It's not racist to push back against something like this when it happens to something you care about. No, it's not. And again, for that guy who who literally said like, "Hey, just create a you know new black character," you know, like it, he's being labeled racist. The line of being a racist, they've just the left has moved this so far into a place that it shouldn't be that it's laughable now. That's why we meme on stuff. That's why we you know have fun with it because these words are meaningless. I sound like a broken record. I've said this a thousand times, but it doesn't mean anything to be called a racist anymore. It means nothing. When I was growing up, when someone was labeled a racist or a sexist, that was a serious, serious accusation. And it took, a, it, it carried a lot of weight. And you were like, oh my God, this person's racist. That's terrible. They didn't stay away from this. 
In reality, like where we are now with it is that just means that you disagree with them on something. And it sometimes it didn't have to be about race. They'll label you a racist for any fucking thing. Anything. They'll, they'll label you a racist for having an American flag. You know, like they'll they'll label you a racist for anything. It's so ridiculous. But this is what the left has done to entertainment, to uh, all, and, and the corporations are just as much to blame for this as well, um, because they push a lot of this nonsense. At the end of the day, black people, white people, non whatever, non white people treat them as individuals. They are not chess pieces on a board, but the corporations think that that's what they are. They think that if you're a not if you're a non-white person, you are a chess piece. You are you are to be utilized so they can virtue signal, and that's why people like us call it out. Because in reality, individuals should be treated as individuals. That's it. Yeah, I do not think that that whole set drops in like a couple days or something. I don't know how many Tolkien fans are going to be excited for black. Aragorn. He's described a very, very specific way in the books for a reason. That is not it. People freaked out when Vigo Mortensen had a a the like a tiniest bit of a beard mm -hmm. because Aragorn's not described that way, right? right? So the fact that he had a little bit of like a you know like a week long beard, people were upset about that. So things matter, details matter, especially when it comes to the works of J.R.R. Tolkien.